sitting across an opponent for uh, at least uh, a few minutes, but generally in a, a standard game for several hours. And during these several hours, you will be, of course, thinking about your moves, but ideally you should be able to um, try to understand what your opponent's plans are in uh, all positions uh, so that you can adapt in consequence. That means you have to somehow get into your opponent's head and find um, what is most likely to do. That made chess, makes chess uh, an extremely psychological game and in that sense um, the prep work begins if even before the game starts. You should be, uh, I mean, if time is available, uh, you should be able to um, look at your opponent's past games and see his approach to positions, maybe uh, the obvious uh, weaker points where he can uh, play uh, worse than he normally does. You can um, also find his approach uh, in, in the games if sometimes he just throws some game away because uh, clearly he couldn't be bothered that day or if uh, he is visibly nervous and spoiling uh, good positions uh, before time control. I mean, all these parameters, if you can, you, you should try to find out the most you can about your opponents. And for me, it's the same when I play Magnus, when I play Fabiano, when I play Vichy, and so on, the list goes on. Those are very different experiences, and I adapt in consequence. I adapt with my opening choices. I adapt sometimes with my decision-making during games. I adapt with the time I spend on the clock, depending on my opponents. Um, I sometimes try to be more careful with my decision making and uh, making sure that uh, it is correct because uh, my opponent uh, will not call my bluff if it happens to be one. And all these um, parameters that I just mentioned are parts of the psychological battle. Now there are a few more things that you can do during the game to read your opponent's uh, expressions. Uh, first of all, there's the time he spends. If he spends more time, uh, likely he's not too sure about the position. Uh, sometimes uh, players are showing uh, either visible signs of uh, discomfort or confidence. Um, I feel like, as a chess player, this gives too much information to my opponents and I try to avoid it uh, unless the situation is uh, absolutely clear. Mm, so, but some players do, uh, can't help themselves probably, and do show these signs. So if your opponent is burning time on his clock or showing these signs of discomfort that uh, he shouldn't actually show, um, you should take that, of course, as it is, and it is a sign of weakness. So your opponent is not necessarily um, confident about his position and might, you know, might err, might not play the best moves. And even if you're not too sure about the position yourself, uh, this should re reassure you that um, your opponent doesn't really know what to do and you take, should take advantage of that. So for instance, you could try to play a bit faster to show in return your confidence and make him doubt even more. You could also play more aggressively. Maybe you just uh, were not sure what you wanted to do next, but uh, try to put him into a situation where he's ev under even more pressure because he might uh, collapse immediately under the pressure. On the contrary, if your opponent is uh, playing with, with confidence, and um, gives this impression that nothing bad can happen to him, 
uh, play a little bit more casually, so that um, let him think that he can be confident and let him roll over this confidence and try to find a hidden trap in the position. And uh, if you do, then there is a chance that because of the confidence he gathered, he might uh, not look at the position carefully and just play it fast and then miss your, your trap. And then you can execute the trap and the situation reverses completely. So you can try to use every, every sign that your opponent gives you uh, and uh, use it to your advantage uh, if possible. But generally in a four hour game, uh, or at least several hours, um, there are a lot of things that can happen into a player's mind and you, uh, you will have a way to exploiting uh, your opponent's thought if you can read them correctly. Another way, of course, to and the last way I, th I can think of to uh, try to get into your opponent's head would be, and yeah, this uh, trick I cannot stress enough is important, is to look at the position but from your opponent's side. So you've been uh, watching your position for two, two hours, let's say, from your, your perspective. And your, in your perspective, you might be unsure, you might not know what exactly is going on in the position. But then looking at it from a very different perspective opens uh, new with new lights. And then you might understand why, what your opponent is not sure about, what um, it doesn't like in his position, and uh, you know, adapt your play accordingly. And with all these factors, you you might get a winning advantage against your opponent uh, rather than with your moves, although they should be good too, but uh, by exploiting his thought process and the, what his mind is thinking at the moment. And yeah, that's a definitely big plus and big asset you can have, uh, you can have for yourself. Hi everyone, this is MVL. Glad to see you on Casper of Chess. Uh, I hope your evening is, uh, I mean, or afternoon, depending on where you are. He's doing well and uh, wherever you are. And uh, well, we're gonna play some chess. We're gonna look at some things and uh, hopefully have fun. So really good to see you. Um, so first off, uh, I think we could start uh, by going through, uh, actually, you know, news because uh, Ikaro won in uh, in Berlin Grand Prix. Obviously, that's uh, very relevant for me because I'm playing uh, in March, um, fully prepared uh, myself. So I'll be playing in Belgrade starting 1st of March, and then in Berlin for the last Grand Prix starting like 21st of March. So it should be fun. I'm actually quite excited to, to play there and uh, well, play to, to get one of the last two spots for the candidates. So and so yeah, about Ikao's win, uh, it was very impressive. I had not seen him um, this eager to play classical chess uh, for a while, and it's good to uh, to see to see Kawu motivated uh, to focus on that full strength actually, because you know, he was extremely well prepared. Um, he played very composed chess, so he's definitely uh, you know a big contender to qualify for candidates now. Um, all right, um, so this was um, this was good stuff for Mikaru. He bet Levon in the final. Also, Levon was uh, playing very impressive. So, you know, I love competition, but uh, I hope, I definitely hope uh, to be up for the challenge and, and really get one of the two spots. 
Um, so this was the news. Uh, and then, um, well, let's go for, for, you know, some lessons. So now we have the new, uh, the new thing, which is called programs, uh, which help help you, uh, you know, depending on your level to get a, a full program of uh, you know, learning. So let's say that I'm a master, which technically I'm not, I call myself a master, but let's say I'm a master. And I'm not going to do this one because I already did it, sort of, while preparing for, I mean, while logging in for the stream. So let's do hunting Caesar because, you know, I like to hunt emperors. Um, and of course we have a few videos if you want. There's lots of things you can do. And then there's the puzzles. So let's do the puzzles. And um, let's do one puzzle like this. Um, so here clearly I'm under attack, I mean, the king is under attack, so obviously knight takes, king takes, bishop g6, I'm attacking the king, and king g7 is possible, because all the moves you would just run into mate, sort of, but king g7 uh, requires still some accuracy, so I have moves like rook c7, which is possible. Mm. Then queen takes, bishop h5, king f8, queen f4 check, king e7, queen f7, king d8. Yeah, anyways, this must be it. Because queen g6, king f8 is nothing, so. Okay, and here I think it comes down to rook c7. Because bishop e8, king f8 is nothing. Mm, let's go for it. I don't see why not. Because queen g5 will take on d7, king g6, queen e6. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I feel better about my preparation for the Grand Prix now. I I feel like I'm up and running. So knight h3, king g2, queen f2. Of course, you want this to start. King h3. Then I go knight h4. I do certain knight f4, queen g3. If knight e2, queen takes f3, would work. Um, so then, okay, queen g3 is obviously the bigger threat, so let's say rook g1. But then knight f4 check in g4, I assume there's gonna be mate. Uh, like h5, king f5, g6, if king e4, f5. Okay, it must be it. I don't see any reason not to. Okay, so it says knight e2. I'll take the free knight, I guess. Although I can reevaluate my life choices now. Maybe e4 doesn't seem to make much sense. So I'll just take. Okay. Then puzzle is not over. So this was a life choice I had to reevaluate. Um, what do we guys think? I, I see a move, but um, knight f6 with the idea knight g4 is an option. And after rook f1, knight g4, king g1, queen h3, it seems pretty good because queen h2 is uh, well, big, big, big threat. Mm, do I see any other move for white? Okay, bishop is out of play. If rook g1, I assume knight g4 is good for me, so. Um, this seems good. Other options, knight f4, take, take, king g2, no check, so knight f4 is not it. Queen f2, king h1, I think that's not it as well. Um, should go for knight f6, yeah, it is knight f6. Uh, should I reevaluate? Queen h5, king g2, knight g4. That's actually possible. 
so queen h5, king g2, knight g4, threatens knight e3, threatens queen h2. Um, and knight g4 seems good, yeah. So also no wait, knight g4, you just take and you play knight g3, and it's nothing decisive yet. So let's go for queen h. I mean. After evaluating whether it works, I think Queen H5, Knight G4 is promising. Mm, it's very promising because Queen H2, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Should have done better, but in the sense I should have figured it out before. Yeah, queen f2, wait, can I go back to, yeah, I'll go back just for, to show why not queen f2. So queen f2, I think, I was not completely sure, to be honest, but I think for g2, knight g4 check, king h1, queen h4, king g1, and you don't have anything decisive. So that's why I thought queen h5 is better. Hey, hey, favorite Frenchman, that's something uh, serious going on. Hope to be up to the task. Hey, hey, everyone, good to see you. Sorry not, that I'm not reading the chat that much, but uh, the focus on the puzzles is too intense. Uh, so here we have a um, big attack on this king. Obviously, first candidate move is rook h5, queen takes queen, would run into rook h6, king h5, queen f7, mate. So rook h5 is definitely it. Then the question is, what's the move rook okay? see? So it's bishop g7, then I like go knight g7 check. Uh, if king takes, queen h3, mate. If queen or rook takes, queen f5, king h5, uh, queen h7, bishop h6, g4, king h4, queen h6, mate. So let me this so queen d7 rook h6 king h5 queen f7 rook h8 i just take the queen on d8 so bishop g7 only move to parry the mate then knight e7 if you take the rook i play queen h3 it's mate and if you take the knight queen f5 king h5 queen h7 bishop h6 g4 check king h4 queen h6 checkmate wait what oh yeah i see what i missed the knight c7 there's king f6 um, which means that I was wrong. So it must be knight h4, actually, because no king f6, I'll just go queen f5. And wait, well, that's not actually made. Of course. Yeah, no, I realized that was a bit impulsive. It was too easy. Uh, why don't I stream on my own Twitch channel anymore? Well, it's still on, but uh, I don't have that much time to, to you know, get to prepare it myself, to stream the hours that are required, uh, you know, to, to actually build something good. So, and I don't have that much free time, you know, with preparations going on, so. Uh, like if I started to stream 10 hours a week, which would be the bare minimum to make it, you know, reliable, then it would be too much. Uh, to, I just don't have enough time. And, but uh, I like to, to stream once in a while, and I think it's good exactly to do it, you know. Uh, on other channels, so, you know, people get to see me sometimes, uh, but... Uh, then there's not the burden of actually um, the preparation, which is uh, for the streams, which is intense. Um, so coming back to this puzzle, do I think I have a chance to get one of the places for candidates? I think I'm, you know, one of the favorites, and definitely will try to prove it. Um, you know, I'm very 
eager to play. I'm very well prepared, I hope, and um, uh, fully focused as that's my primary goal for for this year. So um, I definitely think I'll make it, but you know, it's not uh, then a matter of what I want is whether I will achieve it, but um, pretty optimistic. So coming back to this puzzle, rook g5 also catches my attention because king g5, queen f7, then there must be a fawn queen g6, it's probably mate. And if queen g5, queen e8 is also good, but probably knight h4 is the better option. Okay. So I don't know what was happening after king f6. Um, but probably just queen f5, king e7, and then and um, is there rook h7 or rook g5? Okay, it, it was anyway very, very good. What happened to my pink hair? Well, uh, the pink hair was uh, a good bet, but all good bets have an end. But uh, I have my thoughts on my next uh, color. Should I lose such, um, such a wager again? But yeah, it's sad that you don't get to to see the pink hair now. It's gone. It I even had to get my my much darker than it actually is to to cover it. Can chat make a bet with me? Chat can always make a bet with me, but um, chat got a lot to lose. So. Chat should be careful of what they want to bet about because I'm a serious gambler. Um, so this puzzle, I was, you know, playing this, you know, because it's the first thing that crossed my mind, but it's actually not doing so much, I think, after F6. Uh, but wait, wait, this is much more promising, of course. Knight H5 threatens Knight H7. Or knight f7 if you go king h8. So this must be it. And then, okay, so knight h7, king e8. At minimum, I do win a piece, but it's not enough because. Let's not talk about my FPL season. But I think I even stopped. Uh, logging in for my teams, you know, updating my teams for for a few weeks now. Um, I always do this whenever it gets tough. I'm I'm out of here. I think when I lost in the cup um, with extremely bad luck, I just thought, okay, I'm done for the season. But that's always what I do. So so anyway, here knight h seven must be it. King e8. So I don't think it's knight c6, queen e6, d7, king e7, knight d8, because if you're king c8, knights are um, all cards, even if I'm a piece up. So then bishop c7 can come. This doesn't sound good. So knight h7, king e8. Do I have another move? Uh, this could be knight f5 five check let's say to prevent queen e6 because then knight g7 so king g8 then knight f8 but queen e8 doesn't seem so straightforward as well if i score 100 percent of my games yeah but what do i win jesse This is a question. Mm, so knight h7, king d8. Win bragging rights. Wow. I mean, I, I always like bragging rights, but so not for so much compared to, to blue hair. But we can think about um, a good wager's time. Uh, so knight g6, king d8. That's not so great because then queen e8 is always an option. 
Okay, knight h7, king e8. Mm. Okay, there's the more promising option. Queen g7, I do threaten to knight f6. So I like that. And after king d7, I just take the rook. King d6, and I am a piece up now. It's much better version. So I think I'll go for that. Yeah, and no queen g7. I think that's it. Yeah. Knight b8, I don't have a choice. Wait. Yeah. Okay. That's promising. Okay, here there are a few things that cross my mind. Uh, one or another, I want this. So, queen g5, I think it's not the right move order because queen g5 is just king g7. But if you take, I go pg8, 6, king g8, and then knight d5. Threaten, I mean, if queen takes rook e8. If bishop e7. There must be something. Also, I could. No, because then there's bishop d4. So actually, okay. So let's say bishop h6, king g8, no knight d5, pawn takes. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, can I guess what openings they played? Here it's difficult to tell um, because the pawn on a4 is a bit weird. I would say some French. Um, where black went a5, a4, this is very typical. But then things went so wrong for black. Uh, that it's difficult to say for sure because the center is all open. So when you don't have any remainders of these pawns, um, that means it can come from many lines. Uh, so the French actually can come from uh, Queen's Gambit accepted theoretically. So although with a pawn on a4, uh, it's doubtful. Um, so my guess would be the French. Um, so bishop h6, king g8. I don't see the follow-up for now. Mm. It's probably not knight d5, because after you take the queen, I don't see any, any sort of threats. On my end, I could go also queen h6, but after bishop g7, there's no, not so much. Yeah, what is difficult is my position is so good. Like I can go bishop h6, king g8, queen d5. It's obviously very good for me. So then it's hard to, like myself, think about the direct force win. Yeah, queen c5, problem would be take, and then after knight d5, bishop d4 back. And then bishop g7, yeah. Next move. Uh, elixir of here. Queen e2 might be right. Queen e2 looks very promising now, because if the knight e5, then I can take. Book takes, you cannot move your f pawn because of bishop c5, threaten knight d5. Yeah, I like it. Oh, okay. That's sad. So here I just assume queen c5 was very good and then knight d5. Is there another move? Yeah, knight d5 threatens knight f6. And now. Now, again, this is a position where it gets far too good for white. So for instance, bishop g5 looks very good. Mm. Also, queen f8, you might still defend. Probably not, so, but bishop e7, maybe. Bishop e7 first, then after queen e8, yeah. Okay. Too many good ways to play. Queen d4 might not even be strongest but um, yeah do I have better than queen d4 I mean I could do this bishop f8 and then bishop f6 for instance I think that's it yeah yeah okay 
We're not doing too badly. This, wait, we actually had the opening, I think. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, this, this. Ah, no, we didn't have any opening. Um, talking nonsense. So, must have. Uh, okay, there are more exercises. Ah, yes, that's right. So we did the first part of the puzzles. Let's do okay, attacking the castle king. Mm, okay, must be bishop h6, and then rook e6. Yeah. No, I don't have queen h6 because of queen h7, but probably bishop d3 is very good. Prevents queen g5. Queen h6 is um, happening. So, well, no. Too lazy again. Maybe rook e1. Yeah. Queen h7, queen e6. Certain rook e6. Look very good. Let's do another last one. The puzzle. So it is challenging, yeah, in the sense that, you know, it, it does. If you put in your actual level, it will give you puzzles that are very challenging. You know, if they're challenging for me, they they do have challenging puzzles for for you guys. That's good. Chat is strong. Uh, so here, what do I do? G five, my G five. Ah, too many good options here. Mm -hmm. uh, almost won this. Take knight takes. I think I'll go for it. Knight h6, I think that's the way, yeah. Okay, so far so good. So I did stop before, but rook g7. h6 is an option. It's not the only one for sure. Um, rook d5 as well. On takes and bishop d5, bishop f6. Oh, hey, Laura, here for the puzzles. Tell me what you think of this position. So, puzzles h6 is good as well. Mm. Pretty sure d5 is fine. Here comes down to my gut feeling. Or, you know, if I want that lazy calculation, but uh, so let's do calculation. 25 point takes, bishop takes 96. Or maybe no, bishop e6. Bishop e6, I cannot take. So bishop e6, 96, bishop f6, and then, uh, then it's good, but not that decisive um and on the other hand h6 for g5 h7 knight h7 because um, uh, there was a pin if king goes to h8 rook g5 uh, king f8 G five pawn takes. G five pawn takes. Queen c seven. Also looks good, but not decisive. Ugh. Mm. This no bishop f six not an option. Oh, wait, no, no, wait. I'm not saying nonsense. Think rook d five was more convincing. No. No. Okay. No, we have a problem, of course. So I, but it's just because I'm not. I'm actually not thinking. That's what I'm. It means. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's do another one to redeem myself. Of course, knight c3 is very promising here. Uh, if bishop c4, I just go knight a2, bishop a2, rook c5. Pawn takes bishop a3, bishop d8, knight a2, mate. And if queen c3, queen g5, check. I don't see any defense. Okay, b4 is a defense, but. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it is a decent try, but I felt there would be thousands of options to be better here, so, which is probably true. Um, so knight d1 is one, bishop d8, rook d8. If queen d1, I assume bishop e7, then I go with my rook on e1. Uh, something along the lines. So knight d1 should be close to winning. Do I have something better? Probably. Also, the knight is attacked, the queen is attacked, the bishop is attacked. Um, so maybe not. Okay, knight e4, bishop d8, knight d2 is an option. Oh, queen a5 is a good try. Queen a5 I like. Uh, because queen c3, you want rook c5, yeah? If pawn takes, bishop a3, queen b2, knight a2, king d2, and well, bishop b2. Okay, queen a5 could work. Mm, yeah, queen f5 most likely was. I mean, queen c3, I even have bishop b4. So, yeah, that was very good. It was a very good spot by chat. Too much French accent. Ah. So what is this? Attack on the king. Should go knight b5, I guess. Knight c6, rook e5. This is still good so far. So then knight a7, king b7. Um, and there I think queen c4 is an option. So I have better options than knight a7. Like I could go queen c5, cb, queen a7, queen c6, that's not great. So it's gonna get a7. And of course I should have come up with the move here, but uh, in advance. But of course I didn't. So I can go queen c4. Queen c4 looks good, uh, to be honest. I threaten knight c6. But then there's knight d5. Should be careful about knight d5. So maybe I want rook a5 instead. And if rook a8, yeah, I would have gone queen c4. Threatens queen a6. If you take, I take. If you take, I would play queen c5. I take the rook. Um, okay, let's do a okay, wine mill. Let's go perpetual check. Well, the most beautiful draw in history. Oh, yeah. I know that one. But let's do the puzzles. Some perpetual check. What is this perpetual check? Must be this. Oh, wait. You don't have a choice? Wow. Wait. Yeah. So bishop a2. You have to go queen c2, then I take, take, knight b4. If you can see one, then knight d3 check. If king c3, knight d5. King d4, knight f4. Uh, must be close to perpetual check, to be honest. Do I have any other options? I don't think so. Okay, so I need to save the draw with manage like this. No, this way. Okay, and one last for the road. Then we can start playing some games to see if 
you know, I'm not only prepared tactically, but prepared to play some actual games. And of course I am. So I don't expect to, to lose a game, but we'll see. Uh, rook g7, king h8. This black does threaten rook b1 and queen f4. So this is that much is certain. So g7, king h8. I can go with g3. I can go with g4. It's not very convincing, to be honest. Like rook b1, king h2, queen f2. Things can go south. What could I do? Maybe rook g3 I want. Point would be after rook b1, king h2, you don't have queen f2 because of queen e3. So this could offer me some options. No. It's rook g4, it is rook g4. So we don't know what would have happened after rook b1, queen f2. But this was scary. And now... And now I guess this. Yeah, and king g8, you go queen g5, king f8, queen d8. I assume king g7, queen f6. Okay, some perpetual there, but okay, not, not very clear to me this puzzle, but I have to do the next one. So I'm a piece down. Knight is tied to preventing queen g to mate. So what should I do here? Uh, maybe okay, definitely not a knight move. Queen f2 is a threat. I just notice that. So bishop e7 even okay, king e8, I do have queen g eight, queen e6. So bishop e7, I assume knight e7. And if I go knight g6, king e8, queen g6 check, of course, because otherwise knight drops back to e7, king d7, queen f7, king d6, queen f4. This does look like perpetual to me. Yeah. So I said this, I said this, I said this, I said this, I said. Uh, well, I didn't say it, but queen g7, king d6, queen e5, queen f8, queen f8, queen f8. Because I need the queen e5, king d7, queen g7, king c6. I don't have my queen coming back to, to this diagonal. Here I do. Okay. I think that's good for programs, but uh, yeah, you can have, I mean, this gives you an overview of, you know, good things you can do like if if let's say i was casual i could like do the basic end game mates so mating with two rooks mating with bishop and knights uh, maybe you want to know if i can if i can win with bishop and knights wait oh there's no well it's good to learn it but I cannot prove that I know it, but trust me, I do. Trust me, I do. All right, let's play some games. Let's play some games. So we go to play and I'm waiting for your challenges. Uh, 3 plus O, 5 plus O, 3 plus 2, and then later on we can do 1 plus 0. And we have Shishirov ready to play. Good luck from India, I assume. Flags are a bit small, but I think it's India. Uh, you challenge ZMVL on, on Kasparov Chess. So d6, we're going to King's Indian territory, yeah, for sure. 
So let's go g3 bishop g2 castle because this is um, how it's best. No, e5 is the best move. Uh, let's go d e5. I know this is challenging for black, these lines. Then you change queens, and there are some questions to answer. Like this one. Fork. Um, bishop and the pawn, so that's gonna be a pawn up for me. Yeah, the puzzles are good, I agree, because they're very co connected to, to real game territory. So, I mean, the, most of them are taken from real games or some form studies, but, you know, it is showing some practical play. So that's what's good about, it's good about the puzzles. Um, so let's go with G1. Okay, here, let's just take, and now one thing that's very good for practical plays, you know, this bishop is not in great shape. So, of course, I could take, take, take on b7, and it's probably good, but it does allow for some counterplay. So, I'm going to go bishop e4. I do attack the pawn on g6, and more importantly, there's no e4, so this bishop is very restricted. Now, I'll go c5. But the idea of going b4 later on, if b6, c6, and I'm cementing something against this bishop on g7. So that's what's good. So rook d4 is a good move to fight against that. But I do have lots of control over the position. I did let d3 happen, which is probably a, a good try. Could have gone bishop d3. Um, it doesn't matter so much, probably. b5 could be an option here to prevent rook a4. Okay, it's not happening. Let's take, let's grab another pawn. That's always good to grab pawns. So I do threaten bishop b7 here, probably king c7 is happening next move. And then uh, I can run my king forward to g6. Um, I'll go f5. And then just bring the king to the party, attack this pawn on a5. That should be decent. I almost not slipped and played with b4, but, uh, but that's not the case. And now let's push our pawns. Let's play bishop d5. Let's play king e4. Maybe maybe a4 is a threat, actually, you know. Hunting the black king. I think we just had a lesson about hunting the black king. So if we basically c5 for now, which is why I'm going e4 to protect my bishop on d5. Okay, now would be six. And mate seems unavoidable. Okay, good game, good game, and we have chess machine. From Russia, from the good country of Russia. Uh, let's play, and we go e4, I'll go, I'll go c6, some cow can. Could I do a British accent? Uh, not sure about that, mate. At least um, my British accent wouldn't be sustainable long term, sadly. 
So this um, yeah, this is very topical line. Yeah, thank you, Shishirov. Yeah, my British accent is not up to your standards game. Sorry about that. I did make an effort though. Snatch C6. I don't remember the, the actual lines. I think B3 is a move here. It probably should be two. Um, let's go bishop d6 and then bishop b7 just ah. people want me to parler français oui oui I don't refuse challenges, but uh, I cannot. I can only accept one challenge at a time. This is the issue. So you can try again to send your challenge. So I long castled as well, just to avoid uh, some attack because this king is very safe because of my opponent. Before he don't have any attacking plan. Whereas well, if I castle king side then I'm getting crushed on the king side so I feel like my king is going to be much safer on b8 Yes, I do master only one accent, French accent. I mean, my Russian accent is not that bad. My Spanish accent is very, very bad. But yeah, when, whenever I speak to too many Russians in English, like, like Sasha, then I suddenly become very uh, much closer to a Russian accent as on my original French accent. Uh, okay, Shishiro, what was your mistake in our game? Um, I think, yeah, when you played h6, because you do a lot of fork, so that's not great. Uh, you lost one pawn there. And then it's very difficult because then, okay, you played bishop a6, which is not optimal but anyway i would have gotten this knight to d5 or something so it was looking pretty bad how many languages can i speak basically only french and english i do know some rudiments of uh, i don't know russian uh, spanish slovenian even of course slovenian uh, but i don't even remotely master master them. So my English is good enough. My French should be as well. And that's that's about it. Okay, so maybe knight d4 could be on the cards later on. Should I try something like c5? Open up this bishop, maybe go for some knight b6 later on. What's my take on 6a3 knight off? I mean, it is, it is a definite move. Um, I mean, there are people who, who played it against me. It's not, it's not that dangerous, I feel, for black, but it is a valid option. Like 20 other moves against the knight off. Am I playing the champion chess tour events in the future? Maybe it's gonna depend on you know, where what I'm doing 
for instance, for some qualified candidates and stuff like that. So it's a it's a possibility, but there's no certainty right now. Uh, like here, I definitely couldn't play because you know I'm busy with my preparation. So this was a good move. Um, ninety six is a threat. I should probably just take on d4. And now, should I go e5? If I, I'm not sure about e5, but let's do it anyway. We will reach 2700 first amongst juniors. Right, Art Indian juniors, yeah. I, if I read it right, um, hard to tell. Like, Arjuna has been playing great lately, uh, but he's not the only one for the chance. Um, but yeah, if I had to take a guess, it would be Arjun. I'm giving up pawn to get some counter play. Fully, it works out. My position is not great, but let's see what, what I can do with you. Mm, okay, let's go bishop d4. I think this works fine because rook d6, I've got rook d6 check, win the rook, and I win. Okay, it was uh, a bit of, of a scare. Good game, good game. So let's wait for a few challenges. Okay give you guys some time to, to challenge me. Uh, let's play with La Reine. Wait. Yeah, no, it worked. Let's go and play E4, then D4. Yes, Jim Oscar, it was a it was a good game, I agree. But yeah, time time is a component of the game. But she I mean you played some very good good moves. Should have been more careful in the start. Oh, I'm a whoa, time out? What? Oh. Okay, that's unfortunate. I think there was a, a bug or something. Oh. So we play with Sofia. Sofia JF. And we play some French defense. Yes, what happened, Lauren? Because you got disconnected, I assume, but but tell us what happened. <clears throat> so French French advance. Ah, your game is still on. Um, well, then there's a bug because I definitely was counting the, as winner and stuff like this. And I mean, I couldn't play another game if you if your game's still on. So it's but you can challenge me after this game and we play another one because <clears throat> that was unfortunate. All right.
Ah, yeah, bishop d6 is better than b4 right away. That's that's true, Oscar. Okay, let's take this. The knight f5. Actually, g4 would be even be a move here. Just to restrict the knight on h6, give up the pawn, but. I know this is standard now in French theory. No, it's such a nice c2. You can go bishop d3. Well, you should have known bishop d3. I don't threaten queen f2 yet. So there's no king hat, but uh, let's do this. Let's take the rook. Knight c4 might have been the only option to, to keep the game alive because now I'm coming back. Rook up. When's my next tournament? It's Fide Grand Prix in Belgrade. Starts in a week. And of course, definitely like big missions there because there and in Berlin later this, uh, in March, I will be fighting for one of the two spots, last two spots in the candidates. So, definite mission. So, here we. Attack the bishop. I'll move my. Uh, I can get a spot in the candidates in Belgrade and Berlin. So that's. Uh, uh, I need to perform well in in both. But uh, yeah, I'm up for it. I mean, Belgrade and Berlin. So there's two tournaments. Actually, it's three, but I didn't play the first one. Uh, wait, okay, 24 pre move is a bit early, but it out. I do threaten mating one with this shook going. Okay, it is mate. Okay. So let's wait for Lorraine to challenge me again. Where is Lorraine? Mm. Okay. Lorraine did not challenge, so. Ah. Okay, be ready for when I finish this game. Because then, because then challenges come and go fast, so. It's castle. Should be pretty good for white. Okay, let's just go bishop e3 because queen c3. I'll just go rook c1. Then rook c5. So that's. Well, from my point of view, it's a bad Grenfeld because. Of course, I never like it when my opening is doing badly. But it is not my fault, so am I ready for the Grand Prix? Of course I'm I'm ready. Uh, I'm very ready. I'll be no, fighting like like I never did. I, I did lots of work uh, for this.
so diff5 yeah, diff5 is an option I mean I do could take on b7 right away which site is this? this is caspofchess.com where you can challenge me so bishop takes you always take I mean always not always but often takes with a pawn uh, did I want to do a PhD in math? No, I stopped uh, when I got a degree. I mean, if I weren't a professional chess player, I probably could have pursued more, but um, that's a limited amount of time and limited amount of things you can do uh, when you're a professional chess player. So, um, Actually, getting a degree was great, but then it was time to to work fully. Yeah, I'm also glad I chose pro chess players. As... I mean, it's been a, a fun ride so far, and I show up there's a lot of things ahead for me. As well, uh, okay, it's too tempting. Um, because there's a pass point, there's also this option, but mostly the pass point because rook c8, c7, rook c7, rook b8, bishop f8, bishop h6, gg is game over. So, gm title is. Tougher than PhD? I, I don't know. I've never had a PhD, so I, I cannot say. But probably there are many less GMs than orders of a PhD. That's, that's likely true. And so F4 is an option, rook D7, but let's, let's go F4. I think this is good. So queen a2 makes sense. I'll just go bishop f3, I think. Because otherwise there are some checks that you don't want to allow. Well, at least I don't want to allow. OK, so queen c6, I mean, gives up only a piece, but now the works are coming in. The rooks are marching. So I think this is more or less over. Yes, some check, check. Then we go for the wine mill. I think it's not going to be pretty. Do I envy Ali Reza? Why would I envy Ali Reza? Uh, it's Good thing that she's playing for France. Um, and everything's been going really well. Uh, for instance, in the European Team Championship, uh, you know, uh, we, I mean, with, uh, with the French team, we, we did our best so that Ariosa would feel uh, welcomed. It turned out quite well because uh, it crashed it there. So that was good. And um, and yeah, I mean, uh, of course, he's, uh, he's a rival, but it would be a rival if he weren't playing for France anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just happy he joined us, actually, for, for the... You know, for the uh, for the Olympiads and stuff like that. So we have a chance, a uh, very fighting chance. And let's play Baki Chess from France. Baki. So G6. Uh, let's go. Actually, I shouldn't go C4. C4. 
Let's play d5. Yes, Baki, le président. Should be him. Should be Baki. Yeah, d5. Okay, it's some... Wow, e5 is not expected. Normally you go bishop g7 and a6, but... So e4. I did play something similar uh, with black, that's for sure. Um, yeah, it actually makes sense, to be honest. Because like after h3, you go h5, then you go bishop f5. Then it's not clear what I'm doing. Okay, let's go queen c2. And then after bishop f5, I'll reconsider what I should do. Maybe knight e2, knight g3 is an option. Maybe first b3. Let's go b3 first. Just to get the, my bishop on the... Okay, and now I want knight e2, knight e5, knight g3. If that's an option. What training would I suggest to improve? Uh, general playing is good, solving tactics, you know, but lots and lots of tactics is good. Studying, I mean, like, of course, getting a coach who can guide you more specifically is a good thing to do. But yeah, play, uh, playing chess is the best thing in general. So things are not going so well for me. So I could go g3 here, then bishop e2 knight f1. Um, so that's why I go g3. But I don't like my position because um, squares on d3 is um, a bit annoying. Let's go bishop e2. Maybe I'll go knight b1 now because after a5 I do want to go knight b1, knight c3. Maybe first castle, queen side, maybe on g1 and, and do it like this. I don't mind a4. So knight f to g4. I uh, was not too scared because look f1. And then I'll go king b1. Okay, b6. b6 is strange. And it's not a bad move, of course it's not a bad move, but... Um, so I want h3, take, take, g2, take on f5. Okay, one queen, whatever. And then I, I'll go back b4. You should go back to f6, then I can consider even g4. Yeah. Let's do this, 6g4, Pontex, 94. So I think it's going to be Pontex g3, actually, yeah. And then Pontex f5. And I do give up an exchange, but I think uh, I get very good things uh, for that, because I get the pawn on e4, then I can go f4 and drive the knight on e5 away, which was a very strong piece. So yeah, knight d3 I expected. It's a good move. I probably have to take. No, it depends. Um, so you can wait, yeah? This is a good thing. Okay. He doesn't wait. Um, so if we have one queen h4 is technically an option, because so maybe queen f1 is clever. I'm not sure whether it's clever. <laughs> so, like long castle f6, queen d7. It's pretty good, but not, not decisive. Uh, I'll go with f1. I don't really care about queen h4, to be honest. Maybe I would have wanted to keep the rook on h5 anyway. 
Uh, it's not clear to me. Oh, bishop g7. OK, that makes sense. Um, it makes a lot more sense than what I was saying. I need even to play faster. So I don't have rook g1 because bishop b2 is check. Um, so what should I do? Yes, this is why I shouldn't have taken with the rook. Because then you don't have bishop g7. Ugh. Mm, very bad life choice by me. Um, I mean, I could go f4. Maybe I'll do this. And then queen c3, I guess. Yeah, let's do this. Then rook h1, next move. If rook moves and f6 is good, queen e5, okay, yeah, f6, no rook h1, I want probably rook h6, uh, or rook h4, rook h4 to go knight e4. I think this is um decent way. Also rook e4 to, to go rook e6. Rook h4 is actually a pretty good move, I think. So yeah, I can go knight e4. I could go rook e4 as well. It's hard to say. Probably I'll go knight e4. Because I do want something like queen f6. And no, uh, I think this is what I want. King to a3. I mean, maybe not now, but later on. Because then my king feels safer. I could go f3 next. Then so that's double edged. And now I'll go rook f4, protect the pawn on f2, so to knight d6. And later on, bring my queen, queen somewhere. So like. And uh, d6 could be an option, but let's go queen. Oh, queen a1 is too fancy. Uh, queen a1 is obviously too fancy because here there's rook g1. So maybe knight e4 was not that great. Let's go rook h4 back. But then there's rook g4. Okay, I can take and play knight g3 and then maybe. All the time. Okay. So I need to play faster now. Let's go queen b2. Maybe knight c3, knight b5 is next. Actually, I should have thought of that earlier. Because then I want rook e4 and rook e6 as well. I think this is a good thing. Okay, so G4 has been kicking D7, should follow. And uh, I'll just bring my rook back to H3. Then some queen C2 or queen E2, also an option. No, king A4 is definitely an option for me as well, so that's good. Let's go queen E2. Queen G4, I'm happy to exchange queens, I think. Uh... Let's go rook. Can I go queen h5? I mean, I could, but it's not useful. So let's go rook h4. It does allow for queen g3, which I missed. Okay. Rook e5, I don't see the point. I mean, okay. So one on time. Okay. Tough game. And let's play against the student of Tal. It's not Tal himself, but we'll have to do. I was far too focused. I didn't see, see chats during this game. And let's play, of course. But I had to show my coach that I could play some 
some chess. Not entirely sure he's convinced that I can after this sad game, but yeah, we'll have to set up for that. So here it's good in this Rosorimo to actually take the knight. For some reason, this pawn structure is very favorable for white, especially the bishop on c8. You don't really know what to do with it. And you can go like queen e1 with ideas of queen h4 f5, which I'm gonna do. I think f5 is good. I want bishop h6, I also want like g5. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. e6 could be an option. This is always f6 because queen f6 would, uh, no, no, queen g5, queen d4. Oh, but bishop g5 would catch the queen, so e6, f6 is an option. Knight f6, bishop g5 would be good. Okay. Uh, here, knight e2, knight f4 is an option. I think I'll just do this. G5, I think I'll even give the piece and, you know, bring all my pieces into actions. Okay. So now it's going to be a different kind of advantage. I'll, I'm going to fight for this pawn on C5, which means I should start with B3. Then after C4, I... Why am I not playing? In MCC, I assume you mean the champion chess too. And what well, I do have um, events to prepare for, like the FIDE Grand Prix. That's going to be a lot more important than playing an online event. Uh, let's grab this pawn. So rook f7 is probably only move because otherwise rook f6 is going to be so strong. But anyway, as yeah, this bishop is stuck, it's looking, I mean, actually rook h3 would threaten. It's a big, big threat here with queen h7 on the line. So rook f3, okay, bishop h8, let's go rook f1, I think, rook h7, I mean, I could consider queen f6, but it's too much, even for me, it's too much. Let's go, let's go queen g4 instead. And let's take one pawn, one more. Let's go queen h5, then rook h3 is next. Again, yes, rook h3 now. Rook h7 is the only move. Mm, okay, let's be lazy. Lazy as I've ever been. Grabbing another pawn, especially rook f7, I mean, not rook f6. Okay, let's grab the bishop. And that's probably game over. Yeah, I wanted to, to do some mate, but... Okay. Let's uh, just play with Nick P12 from the US. Hi, right. thank you, Owen. Hopefully it will be good. Yeah, I have many challenges, Jesse. It's good to see. Good to see people here for to play with me. Always a pleasure. So Queen's Gambit accepted. 
the opening I played in the tiebreak with Jan Christoph Duda. So let's go. I don't know. Let's go knight c6. Knight c3 is a move, of course. Let's go bishop e7. I don't really care. Maybe I should, but I don't really care about d5. Maybe after d5, I can even go knight a5. Why is the French accent so cute? It's, you know, something we mastered over the year in France just to be able to, to chat up the girls in parties. And it does work, so. Queen C2 seems like a piece. It is a piece. So here I can go knight b4. I can go the other knight to b4, but then after queen b3. So let's get out of the pyramid. Queen c3 certain openings for certain tournaments um i mean yeah of course but uh, most of the preparation i have can be played by any other guy at the top or even you know any any grandmaster so you cannot sit on your preparation for too long in general because uh, there's always someone who's going to be angry to play these lines. So it's not so easy to, to keep something in the dark for, for a year, let's say. That's, that never happens anymore. Um, so here we go, 95, attack the bishop, attack the queen. And no, yeah, I'm still a piece up. Exchange some pieces, so doing good. So queen b6. Okay, no. Of course, e4 is not ideal. You need it to. Nice. This square is very good for my work. Or for any other, any other piece I have. Not this. Pin is also very annoying. Bishop cannot move. Rook cannot move. Seems seems like game over. All right, it was game over. Oh, we have time for for a few more challenges. Yeah, we have like forty minutes. Uh, so let's play. Um, Umkar has been challenging me for lots of times so so let's play with Omkar um Jessie never thought she'd see chess player and chatting up girls in the same sentence well I mean we are chess players but we also do go get for the, go get the girls I mean that's that's a normal thing to do, so, you know. And I know some masters at chatting girls. Not myself, although I'm not, I mean, I'm not as good as chatting on girls at chess, but I'm getting there, but I know some true masters. No, I do go for it. I mean, like, I am not trying to say I'm, I'm not chatting on girls. So that's, that would definitely not be true. Any tips for remaining, remaining calm and keeping a level head? 
when you chat with girls. I mean, am I the best teacher for that? I'm not sure. Do you actually need to know how to do this? Then let's say it's going to be a problem uh, for you. You probably you probably need some solid advice and like you should be able to to manage that on your own. French accent, yeah. I mean, French accent is is always good. So we should be fine. Let's go if five, I think. Yeah, this would be good support for my night. Uh, bishop c6, I can go e d4, I think. d3, knight e2. Uh, not very skilled at zeros, but. So knight c6, pawn takes, rook d8. Attack the queen. Not many squares left, because queen c1, there's knight e2. It's queen b3, queen a4, but it seems a bit far from the action. Okay, here maybe rook e1 to, to use the pin. But after rook e1, I expect it to something. Which maybe is not there. Uh, knight h2, I mean, okay. So I was going to play an illegal move to queen g5, knight g4. I was going to play f5, which runs into a pin. But I have some solid options. Let's go. Let's go e3 actually, or queen c5 first. No, let's go e3. So if you take, I'll go well, knight e2, I guess, is good. Or oh, queen e3 and knight e2, knight g3, something. Wow, 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 wow. I don't know if it came down to pre moving with d4, but it did. So let's make the best of that. It's a pre move mouse slip. This never happened, but happened here. Uh, okay. Interesting life choice I made to give up a footwork. Okay. Getting a bishop back. For that. By the way, Jesse, now that I can actually lose a game, what kind of wager did you want? Like, blue air is something, but what? What am I playing for? Okay, let's go 92. Suddenly I'm only two points down, which is two points too much, but chat dice are hair blue. Okay, that's good. That's chat agree. My rook into play. That's low on it five on IG five. I'm not like I don't like this too much. I'll just take an F3 and context I'll go in H1. I should lead the way. Ah Chat has cut field. Chat has called feet. Now I'll go rook e6 and rook f6 or rook g6. I do have some good attacking chances. Streaming more on my channel. I mean, it takes time to, to stream on my channel, which is why I don't do it, because I don't have the time, which is why it's good to do, yeah, to do some streaming somewhere else. Like I said, and I think it's win-win for everyone. 
I could stream my entire day daily routine. Like, I could, but would I? And like, uh, I enjoy the streaming, uh, this is for sure, but uh, I wouldn't see, my, see myself streaming every day, but also for sure. Okay. So we want a, a work done. That's good. And uh, let's play with Matt. All right. And let's play E4, E5. Solid opening, solid Berlin, maybe. Do we, does chat one Berlin? Or does chat want? Okay. Chat will not get Berlin because bishop c4 has been played. Chat will get Traxler. I hope chat knows the basics of Traxler because I don't. Just now you take on f2 and then you play queen e7. You play some d5 and I think it's d5. Can I suggest a TV, French TV show? I actually cannot because um, I, I don't watch that much uh, French TV shows. So I really, I really cannot. Like, I know Le Bureau des Legends, but uh, I've never watched it, so. Okay, so here I'm guessing, how do we play this? Bishop d7, queen a3 is not great. Uh, I didn't think I was, I would play the guy who knows all about the track slide, but yeah, bishop d7, queen a3 is really quite annoying. Um, and let's go 97. King F12, just castle and play all okay fights. But I think there's so many options now on, you know, various streaming platforms. Uh, to watch movies and TV shows that, you know, a good French TV show wouldn't be the first option that comes to mind. Even though we, we did improve in that respect, I, I still think, you know, uh, there are many better options yet. Still, some French, French TV show. So in France, we have good food, but you know, lots of very good things, but TV shows wouldn't have been the first option to come to mind. Okay, uh, so seriously, am I getting crushed or what? And I mean, I do have some options. It's not like this is, not totally over for me. I could go queen c5, I could go rook. Mm. Should I go bishop e2? Um, bishop e2 bond takes d4 is kind of annoying. Uh, or maybe not. Because after all, the King is really not safe. Pawn takes, I'll just take. Bishop takes, rook f8. Okay, now queen h4 check. There is king e3. With king g1, I'll just grab the bishop and the queen. This my trap. So king e2. Could go knight f5, but that's too many pieces. So I think I go queen g5. King f2, and then queen 
f4, bishop f3 is not clear. Um, can go knight b6, which is a sound option. Um, I need to play faster, that's for sure. Okay, let's go queen g5 one time. Whoa! I really didn't expect king d3 as knight c5. Wow. Okay. My mistake. Mm. Big mistake. Okay. Let's save this. It's my four pieces done or whatever. Okay, queen is seven. It's so bad for me, but I do expect to manage the flag. Which is good enough for me. No draw format. It's not happening after. <clears throat> after this move, King D3, there was no, no draw happening. Okay, Pawn March Destroyer, let's go. Let's get my rating to 2800. Let's not play the trackster anymore. Mm. Okay. Let's play knight c3, let's play knight f3. If you for knight d4, then knight b3, let's play d4. If you for knight e5. Let's wait for it to happen. Let's go bishop f4. Let's go castle. Yes, PMD is playing. PMD is ready. PMD. Gives me the scrum c5, gives me the, the pawn weakness on c6. Let's try to make good use of it. Just doubling up, down on the c5 later on. It's a battle of the two French speakers. I'm not speaking French right now. So 91, 83 is also good. Maybe F3 as well. Mm, seems like a good position. So 91, 83. Then actually, maybe after this game, let's move to some bullet. We'll have like 20 minutes left for some bullet, I think. It's going to be good. Ready for Berlin, first ready for Belgrade, but yes, definitely ready. Uh, he stopped taking challenges at nine, because that's going to be the end of the stream, more or less, like around nine. Um, but uh, up until then, you, you can challenge me. And when I say nine, it's in 25 minutes because I'm in 9 p.m. my time. Which is obviously not the case for everyone. Uh... Yeah, but I 
I don't think that people are, are using engine here. Like, I've only seen honest people so far. Mm, like H5 is a good move. Let's go H4. I would have wanted King G2, but I can't really. I mean, nobody knows, but um, let's believe uh, in the good of the people. Like, I am an optimist. Maybe I'll, when making 2D2, not sure whether that's useful, but I always like to do this, like transfer the king from king side to queen side. Um, okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll just go for f3, next move. Uh, I did miss f4, which is quite good. But then I see the good news is my opponent has three seconds left. So, yeah. Okay, so we have challenges in one minute, so let's delve into it. Oh yeah, we have the pulse for bad waves. That's that's gonna be fun. So we have um, uh, in my group, I have uh, Yu Yang Yi, uh, Shah, and Pretka. So uh, very good players, of course. I mean. And in the case of Mohamed, uh, like elite player. So definitely, you know, good challenge. Uh, but I'm, I'm ready for it. Like anyway, all, all groups are, you know, very strong um, and are gonna be difficult anyway. So, um, so yeah, I, I looked at my opponents openings and stuff and I think I'm more or less ready so again like it didn't really matter who I'm gonna play it would be good if I started speeding up in this actual bullet game because I'm done on time which shouldn't shouldn't really happen Mm, well, have this pawn, which is not great. Let's go queen f6. Let's go rook e7. Other rook. Play h4. Maybe queen g5. Certain bishop f3. Let's go take. E4. Bishop f3 next. Yes. Please. Okay. Okay, okay. I did speed up a bit. I won't uh, wait. I don't see any other challenge. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eccentric course. Let's go. Okay. Let's sing from Norway. I didn't have time to look at the flag, but I saw Norway. Um, okay. Played some uh, Larsen. Why is this a piece? Okay, ninety four to ninety four. D6. And Queen G7 mate. Ah. Let's go. Uh, friends from Italy are here. Nice. Some pasta. I need some good pasta. With seafood. Seafood pasta. That's what I need right now. All 
right, waiting for some challenges. Uh, when did I play Burgos last time? Oh, well, uh, it was in St. Louis or St. Louis Cup. And we played with Fabi, with Levon, of course, usual suspects, some other guys. I mean, lots of other guys. It was, uh, it was good fun. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the challenges. Uh, opponent unavailable. Let's update. Uh, play. Okay, we have the challenges. What do I think about India? I've never been there yet. I know that's something I uh, have to change. Um, but yeah, up until now, it was very difficult for me to to go there. It was uh, like when I was uh, doing my schedule for the year, it was not ideal. Uh, so, so I didn't go there. Um, but hopefully I will be able because uh, it's definitely a big country for chess and you know there are a lot of uh, historical things uh, about India it's, uh, it's definitely a, a must visit country at some point in my life but um, because I'm a chess player you know I'm not there for for sightseeing yet so and but for Indian chess, I mean things have been evolving in a great direction in general. Okay, this is not going so well. I'm pawned down. I'm getting actually destroyed. Also on time, which is not great. Because I was hoping time could save me, but for now, it really cannot. Wow. Wow. It did save me. Wait. Oh, it didn't. It shot mat at zero, but I actually timed out. Ugh. That's strange. Uh, let's get some more challenges. Why do I get challenges for 10 minutes? There's no blue hair, you didn't agree on the bet. Stop challenging me in 10 minutes. Okay. You did, but I don't see any, any challenge. Why is that? Okay, I see a challenge in 10 minutes. I'm going to say no. And I don't see any challenge. Really? In five minutes, I'm going to say no. Yeah, I mean, if there's a problem, it's not on my end. That's the issue. Like, I cannot fix the problem. Okay, we are. We have challenges. Let's go. All right. Let's win some games. Because I do feel bad for last game. 
Let's do this. And maybe knight e2, knight f4. Okay, c5 is good. Um, okay, that's not great. It's definitely not great for me. Knight h5 later on, maybe I should do this. Yeah. Because there's bishop c2, of course, but. Uh, okay, let's look. Queen d4. And rook g8 is an issue. Rook c4 is also an issue, to be honest. Okay, let's go king b1. Let's not plan the mate. And knight b5, knight d6. Or knight a7 as well. Queen e4. King a1. I think that's fine. Okay, I win on time. Okay. That was not great. Let's see if I can get some more changes. Okay, we have 960 with Jesse. Let's go. So, okay, here we, no weakness, no pawns are attacked. Let's go at 5. Knight f6, knight d6. Okay, d6. Then I want bishop e7. Knight h6. Bishop here and castle. Then b5, and okay, let's take, let's take there. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna take on c7. Let's go bishop b4 check. Let's go d6, and let's take. Take, take, so I'm gonna look up, then I'll take, 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 bishop c5, king h7, rook g8, okay, I'll give up the piece, no problem, bishop e8, a4, okay, let's take this pawn. Do e5. Okay. Okay, that's good. Mm. Okay, we have time for a few more games. Uh, waiting for the challenges again. What was wrong with 960, guys? Um, all right, Loren. Okay, let's get the three minutes game we we never got to play. Uh, Jesse, you didn't know it was set to nine sixty. I mean, I saw it, but I thought this was a joke from you. I thought uh, I'll just fall for it because I didn't mind playing some good 960. Okay. Let's play some advanced French with the bishop on e7. It should be quite good for me. Let's go h4. I actually don't know why h4. Probably doesn't make much sense. Let's go knight takes 3 now. I could have gone just bishop d3, it would have been better, but... Uh, you can... 
can change, but only at the end of the games. So here after this one, you have a couple of more games. You see it. All right. Here we are. Here we are. So I'm going to G1. I don't really mind because in advance, French King is quite safe in the center for now, at least until Black can play that can play F6 because pieces are so restricted. So it doesn't matter what I'm doing on the king side yet. Also, I can bring my king to relative safety on F1 and then use my we can space advantage on the king side to attack this king. Um, I think the bug bugged again. Now then, I'm sorry about this, but uh, but yeah. So, Le Grand Lapin, okay, it's going to be three minutes. Yes, it's good, Le Grand Lapin. Let's play, let's play like this. Okay, so I should go queen c2. DC5 was really not ideal. Um, what's the coolest phrase in French? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't know. I've never asked myself that question. Okay, this. Coolest French in French, but then you would ban me. Yeah, I don't have a great setup. Like, uh, my pieces are weird, especially the queen on C2. Like, I don't have E5, Bishop have E5. I don't even have this because bishop f6 and my queen is just trapped. Bishop c4 and b5 comes. Ugh. I'll go bishop b3. Get rid of this knight. This was really bad. En passant. En passant. Let's not do en passant. Let's just do this. Bishop of five, I think I have time for knight e4, like this, this, and take, 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 yeah, this would have worked for me. Dexter. Dexter was good. Dexter was a good show. Except that they messed up the end, but that's always what happens. It's been a long time since I watched Dexter, it's been like five years. Eight seasons, back to the good old days where I was binge watching. All right, uh, yes, le, le Grand Lapin. Le Grand Lapin, let's get this folk. Okay. 
Okay, I could move to because my knight is trapped anyway. So I'll take and then I'll go queen e2. And I'll I mean, I'm two pawns up. We'll see how it goes. But do I have some mating attack? Maybe rook d7 is. Let's wait for checkmate. Okay. Not falling for that. Well, yeah, queen f7, king h8, rook d7, if rook g8, queen h7, knight h7, checkmate, rook e1, king d2. Yeah, let's do this. g8, maybe queen f6. Okay. Okay, let's wait. Okay, I have time for two more games, basically, in, in bullets. So I'm waiting for, for the changes. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, I'm, these three minutes would be only one game, so please change me in one minute. Yeah, we're not gonna fit eight games. Um, I mean, I have only one challenge for three minutes, so not even anymore. I don't have any changes. I don't know if that makes sense, but, but I really don't see any challenge here. Five minutes. Okay, Jesse. Let's, let's play with Jesse. No more chess this time. Um, I'm gonna play. Let's go. Halifin. Oh, it's too strong in bullet. Wins the pawn instantly. Good try. Not happening. Okay, ninety four. When I have four, I'm not sure how I've ended this though. Okay, this should be good enough. Point to c4, then f5, making f6. Just um, let's do b4, should be good. Okay, and we have time for one last game. Uh, it's not that people are not doing matches, but uh, I didn't get any other match in one minute. Uh, okay, let's go for you. Centric horse. Let's go.
maybe your sword can ban me. Jesse, maybe you could ban me from the playing zone. Then, you know, it's a bad shortcut, but you could get a win this way. All right, so after this show, we will be waiting, waiting, Anna Kramling. Um, yeah, it's been good streaming today. I hope you guys, you guys enjoyed. I mean, it's not finished, but, um, but I had a good time. Hopefully see you after I qualify for the candidates. And uh, yeah, take what well, I'm saying, saying goodbye to you guys, like um, like eccentric horse is saying goodbye to all of his pieces, one after the others. Checkmates. All right. So thank you guys. It was a good stream. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed again. And uh, yeah, I'll have to see you guys in a month or so after I, I qualify from candidates. Should be fun. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Playing a game of chess means sitting across an opponent for uh, at least uh, a few minutes, but generally in a, a standard game for several hours.